Hello everyone, this is DA from E Academy, and today we are going to see that how graphing technique help us to get optimal result of a linear programming problem. So let's continue with this problem. So here we have the model of a linear programming problem that we have to maximize a profit of this is the objective function 2x plus 3y. The objective is to maximize the profit, so that's why maximize 2x plus 3y. And the limitations that we have according to the available R's in each of the operation in grinding, turning, assembling, and testing. So these are the constraints. Now, here, here you have noticed that I have used only two variables, or there are two variables, x and y, according to the products a and b. This is the situation that I was talking about in the last video because when the number of variable exceeds 2, the complexity also increases and the optimality decreases. So this is the important point that graphing method for linear programming is useful when there are no more than two primary variables. So moving toward the solution, the first step in the solution when talking about the graphing method the first step in the solution is to find the intercepts according to the given constraints. So we're going to find the intercepts and you know that when we, when we are going to find the intercept, when I'm going to find x intercept, then I have to put y0 and then I can figure out what is the value of x. And before taking the intercept, I have to write all the constraint in their subsequent equality. So this constraint, the very first, because we have four constraints, I'm writing this constraint in the equality in this form. Then I can figure out the x and y intercept of these constraints. So there are four equations. Now we can figure out the x intercept. So now finding the x intercept in the first equation, I have y0 so the x is equal to 30 here and then now I'm, i should write it as uh, order form and from one if i'm going to find the y intercept then i have to put y x0 and then the value of y should be 15. so this is the very first ordered pair and the second from x and y intercept from the first equation that is extracted equality from this inequality or the first constraint. Then moving in the same way, we have to find the x and y intercept from this equality, from this and this. Then we have, so we have these four pairs of the constraints, from the constraints of the intercept, the first one, the second one, the third one, and the fourth one. Now we have the intercepts. The second step here is to graph the, the constraints is to graph those intercepts. Now we will use these pairs of the intercepts to figure out the optimal solution of this model. So I have x and y axis. Now I'm going to plot this first, 30 and 0. So this should be this point and 0, 15 is this point. So, because both of them are from the first constraint, then I have to join it with a line. Now, toward the second pair from the implied equality of the second constraint, we have 20, 0, that is this, and then 0 and 60, that is this point. So I have to join it because these are from the second constraint. Now moving toward the third pair from the third constraint that we have 100 by 3. That is 33.3 approximately. So we have to figure it out. 33 point something here. And 200 by 3 is 60. 60 point 66.67 
that may be here in between 75 and 60 approximately so we're going to join this now the fourth pair is 40 and 50 so 40 and 50 is also approximately in between 45 and 60 because it's 55 or 52 approximately so here I'm going to draw a line like this so this is from the first constraint this is from the second this one from the third and this for the from the fourth one now the next step is to shade the region from the constraint so this is the first constraint this is the line from the first constraint that should be less than 30 so should be less than 30 means that we have to share it the area that is below from the line which means that this is the first one so the area of this form should be shaded now moving to the second so it also have less than 60 so the second one is this so the area that is below this line should be shaded then 30 no 30 is the third one less than 200 so this is the third one the area less than this line and the same case with the fourth one and the fourth one is this so the area under this line or in, under this curve so now we have to take the intersection of all of the shaded region because the intersection of all of the shaded region is what the uh, what the optimal answer of this of this model so it's obvious that the intersection of all of this is, is this portion is is this portion because this portion is the in this portion as well in the from the second third fourth so this portion is the intersection of all of the shaded part now the next part is to is to figure out the corner points of this shaded area because it have four points this point is of the origin that is zero zero this is zero fifteen this is twenty zero and this point is the intersection of of the first first constraint and of the second one as well so this is from the intersection of the first one then we can find this this point from the equations of one and two constraint so from these two we can find the value of this so the x intercept of this will be 18 and the y intercept will be 6 uh, because the diagram is not as exact so this is the point x 18 and y 6 we can write 18 and 6 like this so this is the point 18 and 6 now we have four points 0 0 0 15 20 0 and 18 6 from these four points we have to find the maximum possible profit so from where we can get the maximum possible profit we can put these points into the objective function so now we have to plug these points into the objective function from 0 0 obviously we can get 0 from 20 0 we can get 40 from 15 0 there is a mistake it should be 0 15 so from 0 and 15 we can get 45 and 18 in 6 2 into 18 plus 3 into 6 we can get 54 so the objective was to maximize this function so the maximum possible value is 54 that is when we have plug 18 and 6 into this objective function so 18 and 6 are the values of x 18 is the value of x and 6 is the value of y that we have to pay to use 18 18 product of 18 number of products a and 6 number of products b in order to maximize the profit so this is what the optimal answer in order to maximize the profit also in order to in order to maximize the utility of of the available possible r's so this is the optimal answer and the maximum profit what we can get is 54 so this is how we can solve any linear programming problem with the help of graphing technique
and no more than two primary variables will help to get what the optimal answer is. So in the next video, we'll talk about some other technique that we can use in order to find the optimal solution of the linear programming problem. So this is for now, looking for more such videos and you can subscribe this channel in order to watch more upcoming videos. We'll be meeting in the next video. Till then, take care. Goodbye.